Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today's going to be a super quick one because we have done this video a few times before on the channel. I just want to give you guys an updated version for 1.18 and uh, it's to how to we can install replay mod and I use the fabric launcher as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get straight into it because I don't want to bore you guys with a super long tutorial because I know that's super annoying. So down in the description below you can find out all of these links as well as all of my resource packs and everything you need to know is going to be in the description so make sure you check that out before leaving a comment and asking me a question but hey go ahead and do that because I'm pretty responsive anyway. So what you want to go ahead and do is download all of these here. Just go ahead and click this big download button. No dramas there. We want to go ahead and go to Fabric itself and download the EXE. If you're on Mac, you want to use a jar. If not, you're on Windows, go ahead and click this big button just here. No dramas at all. Uh, the Fabric API, just make sure you're on the 1.18 or depending on what version you're at, just make sure everything is all the same. So in a later version, it can still even be the same for 1.19 eventually when it comes out. But so yeah, just make sure you download that as well um, and then for Optifine itself you guys are going to come to a page that looks a little similar to this one just here now depending when you're watching this video it's going to be a little bit different but for my version all I have to do is click this preview versions I download the H5 pre 2 version here so just go ahead and download that there if it doesn't work just click the mirroring link and it should work perfectly but yeah as I said if by the time you guys get here these versions might be updated or changed so just make sure you do that if it doesn't work for you just click the latest one if that doesn't work then just get the exact same numbers that I do and everything works fine um, and then we're going to need as well OptiFabric so this just allows OptiFine and the Fabric API to talk to each other so just go ahead and do the same thing as well so to click that download button once we're there you should open up your documents and in your downloads folder you should have something similar to this I've just dragged all of mine over to a mods folder then all you want to go ahead and do is start by clicking on your fabric installer so give that one a double click it should open up a little application just here and we want to make this our 1.18.1 version it should already identify where your .minecraft folder is and then all you have to do is press install if you're again doing this at a laser version just go ahead and make sure it's at the update as one and you have all the same versions for all your other applications once that's done just close that and we go ahead and launch our minecraft launcher itself uh, now if you have this open before let's go ahead and close it and reopen it so it can refresh on our installers it should pop up down here automatically if it doesn't just click on your installations just here and it should be up there now I'm gonna go ahead and edit mine as well just because replay mod is a little bit intense on your um, RAM and stuff like that so I would suggest giving it uh, an amount that you can if you only have 16 gigs don't allocate 16 gigs I would maybe do 4 gigs or something like that but I would try and do a minimum of 4 it's gonna default to 2 but if it you know if you need to leave it at 2 just go ahead and do that this is gonna take a little bit more time to render um, from here though we can go ahead and open our dot minecraft folder if you don't know how to get to that all you want to do is type in your search bar percent app data percent of course i'll leave that down in the description as well and then you just want to go ahead and click on your dot minecraft folder inside here you might have a folder called mods if you don't just simply right click new folder and title it mods as well just with no capitals or anything like that now let's go ahead and double click on that one there and all you want to do is drag in these four applications into that mods folder so yours will be in your downloads just so make sure you double check you have your optifabric your optifine the replay mod itself and optifabric so now we go ahead and close out of all these documents just here, go ahead and click play. It should do a little preparing, finalizing, all that good stuff and we are going to wait for it to open up. If you get any crash reports, sometimes it will tell you what's wrong. If not, I will just go back and double check that you have all the right versions. It's the most common mistake I've seen out of the last two videos that we've done. Uh, it's just people not having the correct version. So just double check you have the right ones for the current version of Minecraft that you're playing on and everything should be all good. Um, now we have this all loaded up once it's done and there we have it so you have your little replay viewer just here on the side so anything you record and save will come in just here um, you guys can you know record your new clips um, you can find a couple of videos I'll show you guys real quick what we can do just here 
Alrighty, yeah, so once you're in the world that you want to start recording your video, just go ahead and hit escape, come down to start record. You can also pause it and stop recording from here as well. You go ahead and continue your build or start the build that you want to do or whatever you want to record as well. So from here, just go ahead and stop your recording. We can save and exit the world once you guys are done. Up in this top right hand corner, it's going to save the replay. If somehow your game crashes or it doesn't save, sometimes it backs up, but I'll be waiting for this to save 100% and then you want to go ahead and click save file as well once it's done. Just there, just go ahead and click done and then you can go ahead and exit it or you can come down to your replay viewer here as well. Just here, our top one will be the video that we had. Just go ahead and, and load that one up. As you guys can see here, we're in a timeline. So you're going to be in here and you're going to be looking around your camera. Just go ahead and hit T and that's going to bring your cursor up. From here, you have you can, this is your timeline. This is your recording section. So let's go ahead and restart this here back to the start of your video. And then you guys, you guys can see here, we're back in our camera mode. So what we're going to go ahead and do is press T so we can come up here this is the speed that this video here will be played at so if you want to it's a really long video you want to watch in like half um, double time you can times about eight if not you want to watch in slow-mo you can do that as well this here is the timeline of the video you're going to be rendering so this here is your keyframe so this position here and this here is going to be the camera position so from here that's your two positions there we can go ahead and move this around here we can go ahead and press P to play the video we're going to see my character moving around flying up a little bit we can hit P again and then we go ahead and move this bottom yellow timeline here and say we want that whole clip there to take about five seconds we can come find that five seconds in there and double click on both of, or just click on both of those again and then we can come up here again and move this as well so we can go ahead and move that up to that 10 seconds so everything is all matched up and synced and then we can go ahead and say we want to be about there we can pause it we can add that as well so now you're happy with this video here you can watch it back by just dragging the keyframe to the start and hitting play it's going to load depending on how much of that ram we allocated it's going to go ahead and do that for us it's going to replay the clip as well all of the land in the background here will be fully rendered once the video is done this is kind of the replay view section we go ahead and click this save if you're happy with that go ahead and find your output file you want to go ahead and find where you guys want to save that to up to you you can change the name do whatever you'd like as well the only thing you'll need to do here, I'm going to leave this down in the description as well. So go ahead and copy and paste this into here as well. Um, some of you will need to install FFmpeg. I'll leave a link as well in the description as well as everything else. And you can go ahead and download that as well. But some people already have it pre-installed. Others you will need to do ahead and do that. So go from here, you can go ahead and press, press render. It's going to do its little thing here. I wouldn't recommend clicking the show display. It's going to really lag out and slow down the process. Um, this one just here, show preview, it might you know suffer your profit it really does so just go ahead and leave this here it shows you your estimated time plus your time rendered and then your frames used as well so it's going to go ahead and go shoot through all those frames obviously if you do like a really fast expanse of your video in a short time it's going to take a little bit longer to process um, and same as was in reverse but if you want to cancel it for any reason or pause it these are the two buttons here if not it's going to go ahead and finish off that as well and that's pretty much it guys so if you have enjoyed this video at all don't forget that like button subscribe with the notification bell if it did help you out leave a comment if you need any help with anything at all don't forget to help and leave a comment as well i'm pretty responsive uh, with replying to you guys so go ahead and do that for me and smash that like button as well really does help me out and i do appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video later